sixth into the fifth, you end up having base runners in each inning. How would you describe your outing today? Yeah, um, I felt good. I thought the stuff was fine. Um, got nickel and dimed a little bit. Um, just got some some uh, hits that found holes. Um, but I was able to limit the damage a little bit and at least keep us in it enough uh, to give our offense a chance there uh, to, to kind of bust it open. A um, few things to work on going into next game. I want to get better just consistently throwing the fastball down in a way to right but overall, I mean, I thought it was a fine, fine outing. Um, and I'll clean some things up. You said a few things to work on besides the fastball down and away to righties. Are there other things you're going to try and work on? Yeah, so in the fifth inning, I threw a couple cutters down and away to righties, which I had never done before. So that's something that I'm going to start focusing on going forward. And um, the curveball's missing a little bit low. Uh, they had some great takes on some really competitive curveballs, but just landing that pitch a little more would be big. When you get Gutierrez up in the zone in the fourth and then get Mullins on one pitch. Are you thinking that's going to propel you forward and you might even be able to get deeper into this game? Yeah, yeah, we got some quick outs there um, and then go out for the fifth and just had some traffic. Um, I would have loved to have keep going, but obviously when you have seven hits given up, hit batter and a walk, there's, you know, I understand going to the bullpen right there and then Castro came in and made some huge pitches. You struck out Odor on curveballs in his first two at-bats. You said you understood going to the bullpen. Were you gassed at that point or you just knew that that Boone had other options. Yeah, um, I still felt really good. Um, I was hoping maybe if I got Hayes there to get a shot at the sixth. Um, but yeah, I felt really good. Um, but you know, you have a bullpen like ours and you have a guy like Castro coming in the fifth inning. I mean, that's a luxury to have right there. Um, so that's probably more of why I understood it, just because of the options that we have back there. Good teams need to dominate at home. You guys just finished a 6-0 and homestand. You're 10-3 and in the Bronx. How would you describe the way this team feels about itself right now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, back-to-back -back sweeps. Um, and, you know, both teams weren't rolling over or anything like that. I think the offense put up 10 runs in four of the six games, definitely three of the six. Um, we got contributions from everyone up and down, uh, from different guys in the bullpen, from different guys in the rotation. Um, so just a lot of complete efforts, uh, some great defense throughout the series. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think more than anything, it's that it's coming from all guys on the roster, not just a few. I guess it helps to be on a team like this, too, when you walk off the mound trailing in the game thinking that it's not over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, as a starting pitcher's job, like the age old thing is like keep your team in the game and, and for this team I really feel like that rings true like if you give this lineup a chance to get something going um, you know they're going to break out at some point uh, so if I can hold them you know one two three runs hopefully start pitching into the sixth and, and go deeper and stuff but if you keep them one two or three runs like you really have to like your chance to win.